everyone, I'm Kiki Fontenot with the LSU Ag Center, and today we're gonna to be talking about selecting varieties of blueberry cultivars for your home garden or for your fruit orchard. So when we're talking about variety selection, we don't wanna just talk about fruit quality and things of that nature. Of course, we care about how they taste, but we have to make sure that they survive in the areas that we're gonna plant them in. And when we're specifically talking about what varieties we wanna choose, we have to talk about chill hours. Chill hours are those hours typically when the plant is dormant, meaning all the leaves have fallen off, between 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 45 degrees Fahrenheit. That coldness in the air temperature actually helps break down abscisic acids in the fruit buds that allow those flowers to come out and later to develop fruit. So why I'm telling you this is because if you select a plant that say has 100 to 200 required chill hours and you live in North Louisiana where you may get six to 800 chill hours, that plant will break down that abscisic acid and those blooms will come out really early and then you're likely to have a freeze or a frost come and kill them. When we're looking at these plants here, you can see that we have some fruit already developed on the shrub as well as flowers. When the flowers are closed, they're the most cold hardy, probably down to the mid 20s. But when they start to open up and get this bell shape like you see here, they're more susceptible to the cold. I would say maybe 27, 28 degrees Fahrenheit would be all this could withstand. And even at that, I would be very nervous sleeping if I were relying on this as my living. The fruit, okay, they're only about cold hardy to 32. Some people tell you 30 degrees Fahrenheit, but when we've seen that happen and we didn't cover the fruit, we saw a lot of shrinkage in the fruit and, and kind of um, a looseness to the skin and damage to them. So in order to avoid this and to avoid getting your blooms to come out too early, you really wanna pick your cultivars based on how many chill hours they require. So when you're going through the magazines or you're ordering online or visiting your local nursery, Make sure you flip that bag of the back of the tag over and look at it. If you're in South Louisiana, say like New Orleans, lower than Baton Rouge, you can get by with zero to maybe 100, 200 chill hours. When we start getting up into the middle portion of the state, we wanna be between that three and 500 chill hours. And when we get to the top portion of that state, Alexandria North, 600 to 800 chill hours are gonna be required. Again, you can plant these plants in any of those ranges, but be prepared to cover if your blooms and your fruit come out early.